Phrasal verbs 3, on and off. Verbos con la preposición on. To turn on, to switch on. ¿Podrías encender el ventilador? Hace calor. Could you turn on the fan? It's hot. ¿Cómo lo enciendo? How do I turn it on? Cuando ella encendió la luz, la bombilla se fundió. When she switched the light on, the bulb blew. No enciendas la batidora sin la tapa puesta. Don't turn on the blender without the lid on. Él encendió la radio y sintonizó las noticias. He turned the radio on and tuned into the news. No abras el grifo hasta que yo te diga. Don't turn the tap on until I say so. Él abrió el gas y dio fuego a la barbacoa. He turned the gas on and lit the barbecue. Enciende el calentador si hace demasiado frío. Switch on the heater if it's too cold. Se me olvidó encender las luces del coche. I forgot to turn on my car lights. Ella encendió su móvil después de la película. She turned her phone on after the movie. The greens aren't very green. The greens are never surprised when they receive enormous electricity bills at the end of the month. When Harry Green gets home, he turns on his 50-inch flat-screen TV and watches the news. When Cindy Green gets home, she turns on the oven and then turns on the range and starts preparing dinner. When Holly Green gets home, she turns on her computer and chats with her friends. And when Charlie Green gets home, he turns on his hi-fi, switches on his amplifier and starts playing the guitar. Of course, when it gets dark, they have to turn on all the lights in the house. Then, when they go to bed, they all turn on their bedside lamps and read before falling asleep with the lights on. No dejes el grifo abierto cuando te cepilles los dientes. Don't leave the tap on when you brush your teeth. ¿Quién dejó la luz del baño encendida? Who left the bathroom light on? Dejo la tele encendida para ayudarme a quedarme dormida. I leave the TV on to help me fall asleep. Dejaste las luces del coche encendidas y no arranca. You left your car lights on and it won't start. Alguien dejó el gas abierto y la casa estalló. Someone left the gas on and the house blew up. Nunca dejo el móvil encendido en el cine. I never leave my phone on at the cinema. ¿Siempre dejas el PC encendido? Do you always leave your PC on? Ella siempre deja la calefacción encendida. She always leaves the heating on. Deja una luz encendida para el bebé. Leave a light on for the baby. Él dejó la plancha encendida y casi causó un incendio. He left the iron on and almost started a fire. Think green. The greens are trying to be greener by using less electricity. Harry Green has to remember not to leave the TV on when he leaves the living room. Cindy Green has to remember not to leave the oven on when she finishes using it. Holly Green has to remember not to leave her computer on when she goes to school. And Charlie Green has to remember not to leave his music on when he's not in his room. They are all going to have to make an effort not to leave the light on when they leave a room and remember not to leave the heating on when they leave the house. Of course, they can leave the alarm on when they leave the house, but nothing else. To put on Pongo la cafetera. 
Shall I put the coffee machine on? To put on. Pongo la cafetera. Shall I put the coffee machine on? Pon el horno a 350 grados. Put the oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Él puso la tetera para el té de sus invitados. He put the kettle on for his guests' tea. Ella puso la tele a las seis de la tarde para ver las noticias. She put the TV on at 6 p.m. to watch the news. Él puso la radio y empezó a trabajar. He put the radio on and started working. ¿Te importa si pongo música? Do you mind if I put some music on? Para nada, pero pon algo alegre. Not at all, but put on something upbeat. Pon la 9. Mi programa favorito está empezando. Put Channel 9 on. My favorite show is starting. Ella puso la película donde la dejó ayer. She put the movie on where she left off yesterday. Siempre ponen una película después de cenar. They always put on a movie after dinner. At the Greens Grandpa and Grandma Green come over for Christmas lunch every year. This year it was especially cold, so Cindy Green put the heating on extra high for them. After lunch, Harry Green put on some Christmas music he thought the family would enjoy. Charlie Green didn't like the music his dad put on, so he went to his room and put on music he wasn't allowed to put on in front of his grandparents. After the music, Cindy Green put on a movie she thought everyone would like. Holly Green didn't like the movie her mum put on, so she went to her room and put on a different movie. When the grandparents were gone, Cindy asked Harry, Why do you always put such horrible music on? To which Harry replied, Why do you always put such bad movies on? To get on. Sube al autobús antes de que se vaya. Get on the bus before it leaves. ¿Por qué no pudiste subir al caballo? Why couldn't you get on the horse? Él no se ha subido a una bici en mucho tiempo. He hasn't gotten on a bike in years. Nunca me subiría a esa montaña rusa. I never get on that roller coaster. Súbete a mi espalda. Te llevo a caballito. Get on my back. I'll give you a piggyback. Él se subió a la cama de sus padres y empezó a saltar. He got on his parents' bed and started jumping. Ella se subió a la mesa para dar su discurso. She got on the table to give her speech. Vamos a coger el tren siguiente. Este está lleno. Let's get on the next train. This one is full. No voy a subir a la parte de atrás de tu moto. I'm not getting on the back of your motorbike. Él se subió al tren sin su maletín. He got on the train without his briefcase. The Greens were at the circus, which this year was even more spectacular than ever. The main attraction was Jimbo, an elephant who got on a tiny bike and rode it around the circus tent. Then, a strong man got on Jimbo, and a clown got on the strong man. It looked like they were all going to fall off, but a trapeze artist got on the clown's back to balance the tower of people. It didn't seem possible for anyone else to get on. Nevertheless, the ringmaster said he needed a volunteer from the audience to get on the trapeze artist. Charlie, who was getting on his dad's shoulders to see what was going on, was the perfect choice. Several tightrope walkers helped Charlie get on the trapeze artist's shoulders, and then they got on as well. To jump on, to hop on. 
Después de que él marcara, todos se le subieron encima. After he scored, everyone jumped on top of him. Él subió al tren justo a tiempo. He jumped on the train just in time. No te subas al carro también. Don't jump on the bandwagon too. El perro subió de un salto a la cama. The dog jumped onto the bed. Sube a mi bicicleta, te llevaré a casa. Hop on my bike, I'll give you a ride home. Subieron al autobús y encontraron asiento. They hopped on the bus and found a seat. Él se cayó del escenario, pero subió de nuevo de un salto. He fell off the stage, but jumped back on. Subo a mi avión privado cuando necesito un descanso. I hop on my private jet when I need a break. El atleta subió al podio de un salto y sonrió. The athlete jumped on the podium and smiled. El niño se subió a la espalda de su padre. The boy jumped on his father's back. Dog. The Green's cat, Mr. Jones, was a lazy cat who never did much except sleep. But all that changed when the Greens bought a dog called Skippy. Mr. Jones likes to sleep on the sofa, but when Skippy jumped on the sofa with him, Mr. Jones jumped on the chair. Skippy thought it was a game, so he jumped on the chair too. Mr. Jones was not too happy about Skippy jumping on the chair with him, so he jumped on the dining room table. And Skippy, who was having a lot of fun jumping on things, jumped on the table and barked. Mr. Jones was fed up with Skippy and jumped on the kitchen counter. It was too high for Skippy to jump on, but he was smart, so he jumped on a stool and then jumped on the kitchen counter. Él subió al tejado para limpiar los canalones. He climbed onto the roof to, to, to climb on. Él subió al tejado para limpiar los canalones. He climbed onto the roof to clean the gutters. Súbete a mis hombros. Podrás ver mejor. Climb onto my shoulders. You'll see better. Los supervivientes del náufrago se subieron a un tablón. The shipwreck survivors climbed onto a plank. No había suficiente espacio para que todos subieran. There wasn't enough room for everyone to climb on. Dos estudiantes subieron a la estatua para protestar. Two students climbed on to the statue to protest. No te subas ahí. Don't climb on there. El surfista se volvió a subir a su tabla de surf. The surfer climbed back on his surfboard. A los lagartos les gusta subirse a piedras para tomar el sol. Lizards like to climb on rocks to sunbathe. El ladrón subió a un alféizer para esconderse. The thief climbed on to a ledge to hide. Los trabajadores subieron a los autobuses para volver a casa. The workers climbed on the buses to go home. After doing the shopping, Harry Green couldn't remember where he had parked the car, so he climbed on a bench to see if he could see it. He couldn't, so Charlie climbed on a bin, but he couldn't see it either. Cindy didn't want to climb on anything, so she walked around the parking lot looking for the car. Holly was anxious to get home, so she climbed on top of another car and looked around. Just then, the owner of the car Holly had climbed on saw her and shouted, Hey, get off my car! It was getting late, and Harry was about to climb on the roof of the supermarket when Cindy shouted that she had found the car. To hang on, to hold on. 
Espera, vuelvo enseguida. Hang on. I'll be right back. ¿Puedes esperar hasta que él vuelva? Can you hang on till he gets back? Él le dijo a ella que esperara. He told her to hang on. Espera, no estoy listo. Hold on. I'm not ready. No puedo esperar mucho más. Llego tarde. I can't hold on much longer. I'm running late. Él esperó hasta que llegó la ambulancia. He held on for the ambulance to arrive. La secretaria le pidió que esperara. The secretary asked him to hold on. Espera, ¿qué has dicho? Hold on a minute. What did you say? Sé que tienes hambre, pero aguanta hasta la hora de comer. I know you're hungry, but hang on until lunchtime. No sé si puedo aguantar hasta entonces. I don't know if I can hang on until then. Charlie was having trouble with his homework, so he asked his dad if he could help him. But his dad said, Hang on, Charlie, I'm watching the news. So Charlie asked his mum, but she said, Can't you hold on until after dinner, Charlie? And when Charlie asked his older sister, Holly, she said, Hold on, Charlie, I'm on the phone. Charlie didn't have time to hold on until his dad finished watching the news, and he didn't have time to hold on until after dinner. He certainly didn't have time to hold on until Holly hung up the phone, because he could be holding on for hours. So, in the end, Charlie sat down to do his homework himself. When Charlie's mum asked him to set the table for dinner, Charlie said, Hang on, mum. I'm doing my homework. To stay on. La profesora suplente se quedó por dos semanas más. The substitute teacher stayed on for two more weeks. Se quedó hasta que el profesor habitual mejoró. She stayed on until the usual teacher got better. Le pidieron que se quedara permanentemente. They asked her to stay on permanently. Ella decidió quedarse por otro año. She decided to stay on for another year. ¿Te quedarás como tesorero el próximo mandato? Will you stay on as treasurer next term? Me quedaré solo si Mickey se queda como presidente. I'll only stay on if Mickey stays on as president. Él dijo que no quería quedarse por otro mandato. He said he didn't want to stay on another term. Nadie quería que se quedara como entrenador del club. No one wanted him to stay on as club manager. Hemos decidido quedarnos por otro mes. We've decided to stay on for another month. Se quedarán el tiempo necesario para hacer el trabajo. They'll stay on for as long as it takes to do the job. The new teacher. Harry and Cindy Green were not happy about one of the teachers at their children's school. She was a substitute teacher who had been asked to stay on for the rest of the semester. All the students in the school wanted her to stay on because she wasn't like any of the other teachers. However, the Greens didn't want her to stay on because they thought she was too young. The Fresnos didn't want her to stay on either, because they thought she was too strict. And the Chans didn't want her to stay on, because her classes were too difficult. When they went to the principal to tell him why they didn't want her to stay on, he told them that the reason he had asked her to stay on in the first place was because she was young, strict, and her classes were different. To add on. ¿Vamos a agregar una propina? Are we going to add on a tip? Las líneas aéreas añaden un recargo por exceso de equipaje. Airlines add on a surcharge for heavy bags. La película dura tres horas cuando añades los avances. 
The movie lasts three hours when you add on the trailers. Cuando les pases la factura, no te olvides de añadir el IVA. When you bill them, don't forget to add on the VAT. Los creadores añadieron una característica nueva. The developers added on a new feature. El complemento fue una mejora importante. The add-on was a major improvement. El grupo de música añadió un concierto nuevo a su gira. The band added on a new concert to their tour. Añadieron una ampliación a su casa. They added on an extension to their house. Un dormitorio nuevo fue añadido. A new bedroom was added on. La mayoría de los estados en Estados Unidos agregan IVA. Most states in the USA add on a sales tax. Under construction, the Greens were thinking about adding on a new room to their house, but they weren't sure what they wanted to add on. Add on a game room, said Charlie. No, add on a movie room, said Holly. Harry wanted to add on a second living room. But Cindy said she would like to add on a new kitchen that was bigger than the one they had. In the end, the Greens decided to add on a bigger kitchen and convert the old one into a second living room for games and movies. When the add-on was finished, the Greens' neighbours were so impressed that many of them decided to add on new rooms too. To put on. Añada mi nombre al informe también. Put my name on the report too. Él pagó la cena con su tarjeta de crédito. He put dinner on his credit card. Añade las copas a mi cuenta. Put the drinks on my tab. Se me olvidó poner tu nombre en la lista de invitados. I forgot to put your name on the guest list. ¿Pusiste la fecha en el contrato? Did you put the date on the contract? Podemos añadir eso al orden del día para mañana. We can put that on the agenda for tomorrow. El árbitro añadió tres minutos más al reloj. The referee put three more minutes on the clock. Añada otro cero al cheque. Put another zero on that check. No añadas más vinagre a la ensalada. Don't put any more vinegar on the salad. El camarero puso demasiado parmesano a mi pasta. The waiter put too much parmesan on my pasta. The shopping list. When Cindy got back from the supermarket, Holly asked her if she had bought brownies. Did you put them on the list? asked Cindy. Holly hadn't put them on the list, so she put them on the list for next week. Then Charlie asked her if she had bought cola. Did you put it on the list? asked Cindy. Charlie hadn't put cola on the list, so he put it on the list for next week. Harry was sure he had put batteries on the list. However, Cindy hadn't bought them, so she told him to put them on the list for next week too. Alguien te ha pegado una pegatina en la espalda. Someone stuck a sticker on your back. No pegues nada en las paredes. Don't stick anything on the walls. Él volvió a pegar su suela con cola de contacto. He stuck his soul back on with super glue. Ella pegó la etiqueta con su nombre en su abrigo. She stuck her name tag on her coat. Tengo que pegar un sello a esta carta. I need to stick a stamp on this letter. Asegúrate de que pegues suficiente franqueo. Make sure you stick enough postage on. Él pegó su dirección en su maleta. He stuck his address on his suitcase. Lo pegué con velcro. I stuck it on with velcro. ¿Vas a poner ese póster en la pared? 
Are you going to stick that poster on the wall? ¿No deberías pegar una tirita en esa herida? Shouldn't you stick a bandage on that cut? Sticky notes. The Greens are a pretty forgetful family, so they often stick notes on things. Harry Green sticks his notes on his computer monitor and often sticks them on his car dashboard. Cindy Green sticks her notes on the bathroom mirror and also sticks them on the front door. Holly Green sticks her sticky notes on her desk and sometimes sticks them on her bedroom door. Charlie Green is the most forgetful member of the family, so he sticks his notes on the TV and even sticks them on his forehead. To carry on. El boxeador no podía seguir. The boxer couldn't carry on. ¿Puedes seguir sin mí? Can you carry on without me? Las cosas no pueden seguir así. Things can't carry on like this. Continuemos esta conversación luego. Let's carry on this conversation later. Perdona la interrupción. Sigue. Sorry for the interruption. Carry on. Su hijo continuó la tradición familiar. His son carried on the family tradition. ¿Cuánto tiempo vas a seguir trabajando? How long are you going to carry on working? Él seguirá trabajando hasta que se caiga muerto. He'll carry on working until he drops dead. ¿Cuánto tiempo va a seguir esta recesión? How long is this recession going to carry on? Sigue con lo que estabas haciendo. Carry on with what you were doing. It was dinner time at the Greens, and everyone was in a hurry to finish eating, so they could carry on with what they were doing. Holly Green wanted to finish dinner, so she could carry on writing a letter to a friend. Harry Green wanted to finish eating, so he could carry on watching the football. Charlie Green was in a hurry to finish eating, so he could carry on playing his new video game. When Holly, Harry, and Charlie finished eating, Cindy carried on eating dinner by herself. She was in no hurry to carry on washing clothes or to carry on cleaning the house. Mi ordenador no para de colgarse. My computer keeps on crashing. Si sigues haciendo eso, te despedirán. If you keep on doing that, you'll get fired. Él sigue fingiendo que no me conoce. He keeps on pretending not to know me. No paró de gritar hasta que vino la policía. He kept on yelling until the police came. Sigue practicando. Lo conseguirás. Keep on practicing and you'll get it. Ella no para de llamarme. She keeps on calling me. Yo no dejo de colgar el teléfono. I keep on hanging up the phone. Él seguía conduciendo aunque tenía sueño. He kept on driving even though he was tired. Ella no para de meterse en líos en el colegio. She keeps on getting in trouble at school. ¿Por qué sigues comprándole regalos? Why do you keep on buying her presents? Homework. Charlie Green keeps on getting in trouble at school, and his parents keep on getting letters from his teachers. Apparently, he keeps on falling asleep in class. Cindy keeps on telling him that he has to get more sleep, but Charlie keeps on going to bed too late. Harry keeps on reminding Charlie that if he keeps on falling asleep in class, He'll keep on getting bad grades. Charlie keeps on telling his parents that he keeps on falling asleep in class because his teachers keep on giving him too much homework, which is why he keeps on going to bed so late.
Tienes intención de to go on. Tienes intención de continuar con ello? Are you planning to go on with it? El espectáculo debe continuar. The show must go on. No podemos continuar sin ellos. We can't go on without them. La fiesta siguió por más tiempo del que se esperaba. The party went on longer than expected. Siguió hasta altas horas de la madrugada. It went on to the early hours of the morning. Para de hablar tanto de tu nueva novia. Stop going on about your new girlfriend. Llevas horas hablando de ella. You've been going on and on about her for hours. Su padre no me permitirá continuar viéndola. Her father won't let me go on seeing her. No puedes continuar viviendo así. You can't go on living like this. Ya es hora de continuar con tu vida. It's time to go on with your life. Unwelcome guests. It was the Green's wedding anniversary and they had invited all of their friends. They thought the party would go on until about 11 p.m. But it ended up going on until much later. Cindy's friend Marge went on and on about her new dog. And Harry's friend Frank went on for hours about the state of the economy. Cindy went on serving drinks and Harry went on talking to people who went on and on about boring things. At 2 a.m., the Greens couldn't go on anymore and told everyone to go on with the party elsewhere. To log on, to sign on. No puedo entrar al servidor. I can't log on to the server. Cuando intento entrar, recibo un mensaje de error. When I try to log on, I get an error message. Necesitas una contraseña nueva para iniciar sesión. You need a new password to log on. Alguien ha entrado en mi cuenta. Someone logged on to my account. Inicia sesión y mira tu correo. Log on and check your email. No puedes iniciar sesión desde aquel terminal. You can't sign on from that terminal. Un usuario desconocido ha iniciado sesión. An unidentified user has signed on. ¿Cómo lograron iniciar sesión? How did they manage to sign on? Pregunta al departamento informático cómo entrar. Ask the IT department how to log on. Él entró en internet con su móvil. He logged on to the internet with his phone. Internet problems. The Greens' internet connection wasn't working, and everyone was getting impatient. Harry needed to log on to do his online banking. Cindy needed to log on to buy tickets for the cinema. Holly didn't need to log on for anything in particular, but she wanted to log on to chat with her friends, and Charlie wanted to log on to play online video games. So, after a few hours of trying to log on from home, Harry went back to his office to log on to the internet from there. Cindy decided she didn't have to log on because she could buy the tickets at the cinema. Holly remembered that she could log on to her chat account with her phone, and Charlie went to his friend's house to log on from there. Asegúrate de to clock on. Asegúrate de fichar antes de ir a tu mesa. Make sure you clock on before going to your desk. Por lo visto, fichaste tarde hoy. Apparently, you clocked on late today. Él se olvidó de fichar y no cobró. He forgot to clock on and didn't get paid. Si fichas tarde una vez más, estás despedido. 
If you clock on late one more time, you're fired. No hagas llamadas personales después de fichar. Don't make personal calls after clocking on. El fichó a las nueve de la mañana. He clocked on at nine a.m. ¿A qué hora fichas? What time do you clock on? ¿Estás trabajando ahora? Are you on the clock right now? Cuando inicias sesión, automáticamente fichas. When you sign on, you automatically clock on. Quiero un trabajo donde no tenga que fichar. I want a job where I don't have to clock on. Harry was having problems at work with some of his employees. Everyone was supposed to clock on before 9 a.m., but some of the staff were clocking on late. James had clocked on late twice this week, and Mark regularly clocked on at 9.45 a.m. Suzanne always clocked on at 9 a.m., but went to have a coffee right after clocking on. Jim, who was new, clocked on and spent the next hour talking to his girlfriend. Harry didn't want to fire anyone, but he couldn't let his employees go on clocking on and wasting time. To put on. Ponte una bufanda. Hace frío fuera. Put on a scarf. It's freezing outside. Si yo fuera tú, me pondría un traje. If I were you, I'd put on a suit. Hacía sol, así que se puso sus gafas de sol. It was sunny, so he put his sunglasses on. Ella se puso su camiseta hacia atrás. She put her t-shirt on back to front. Me encanta ponerme un par de calcetines nuevos. I love putting on a new pair of socks. Él se puso su jersey al revés. He put his sweater on inside out. ¿Por qué se puso guantes? Why did he put gloves on? Él se los puso para cometer un crimen. He put them on to commit a crime. Tuve que ponerme una camisa sucia esta mañana. I had to put on a dirty shirt this morning. Ponte un gorro para que nadie te reconozca. Put on a hat so no one recognizes you. Say cheese! The Greens were having a family photo taken, and everyone had to put on their best clothes. Harry put on a new shirt and put on his new suit. Cindy put on her favorite dress and put on a new necklace. Charlie put on the outfit he put on for special occasions and also put on one of his father's ties. Holly couldn't find anything to put on because she said she didn't have any nice clothes. She didn't want to put on her old clothes for the photo, so she put on one of her mother's blouses and also put on a pair of her mother's earrings. When they got to the photographer's studio, he asked everyone to put on a smile and say, cheese. To try on. ¿Te probaste esos zapatos antes de comprarlos? Did you try on those shoes before you bought them? Claro que me los probé. ¿Por qué me lo preguntas? Of course I tried them on. Why do you ask? Me gustaría probarme esta camisa, por favor. I'd like to try this shirt on, please. ¿Te gustaría probarte mi reloj? Would you like to try on my watch? Nunca me he probado un Rolex de verdad. I've never tried on a real Rolex before. Ella se lo probó, pero no le quedaba bien. She tried it on, but it didn't suit her. Tienes que probarte una talla más pequeña. You need to try on a smaller size. Cuando te probaste mi camisa, la estiraste. When you tried on my shirt, you stretched it. Déjame probarme tus gafas. Let me try on your glasses. Ella compró el primer vestido de novia que se probó. 
she bought the first wedding dress she tried on. The changing rooms. Harry had a wedding in a week and went to the tailor's to try on a morning suit. Harry hated trying on clothes and often bought clothes without trying them on. First, he tried on the trousers. The first pair he tried on were too tight, so he tried on a bigger size that fitted better. He tried on at least four jackets until he found one he liked. He tried on waistcoats and he tried on top hats. He tried on bow ties and he tried on neckties. When it was time to try on shoes, Harry was so exhausted from trying on so many clothes that he bought a pair without trying them on. ¿Por qué llevas puesto tu abrigo? Why do you have on? To have on. ¿Por qué llevas puesto tu abrigo? Why do you have your coat on? Ella llevaba puesto un vestido rosa. She had a pink dress on. Los dos llevaban puesto lo mismo. They both had on the same thing. Llevo puestos mis calcetines de la suerte. I have my lucky socks on. Esa persona no lleva puesto nada. That person has nothing on. ¿Llevas puestos los zapatos? Do you have your shoes on? Habla con alguien que lleve puesto un credencial. Talk to someone who has a name tag on. No puedes llevar puesto el gorro aquí. You can't have a hat on in here. El ladrón llevaba puesto un pasamontañas. The burglar had a ski mask on. Or, the burglar had a balaclava on. Qué suerte que él llevaba puestas sus botas de goma. It was lucky he had his Wellingtons on. The lineup. The Greens' house had been burgled, and they were at the police station to identify a man they had seen running away. The first man in the lineup had on a brown leather jacket. The second and third men had on blue jeans and white shirts. The fourth man had sunglasses on. The fifth man had pajamas on, and the sixth man had on a suit. The Greens weren't sure what the real burglar had on. Harry thought he had on a black jacket. Cindy thought he had on a navy blue sweater. Holly thought he had a hat on, and Charlie was sure he had a mask on. In the end, they couldn't decide what the burglar had on, so they left without identifying anyone. Nunca nos ponemos de acuerdo en nada. To agree on. Nunca nos ponemos de acuerdo en nada. We never agree on anything. Están de acuerdo en todo. They agree on everything. ¿Acordaron la fecha de la boda? Did they agree on the date of the wedding? Acordaron en celebrarla el día 21. They agreed on having it on the 21st. No se ponen de acuerdo sobre la música. They can't agree on the music. ¿Quién acordó el nuevo diseño? Who agreed on the new layout? El consejo lo acordó. The board agreed on it. Nos pusimos de acuerdo sobre el primer punto. We agreed on the first point. Todos estamos de acuerdo sobre la propuesta. We all agree on the proposal. ¿Qué pasó con el contrato que acordamos? What happened to the contract we agreed on? Agree. Harry and Cindy always agree on the little things, but never agree on the big things. When they were looking at houses to buy, they couldn't agree on a neighborhood. And when they did agree on a neighborhood, they couldn't agree on a house. When they bought a car, they agreed on the color, but they couldn't agree on the model. When they went on holiday, 
They agreed on the duration, but they couldn't agree on the destination. And when they wanted to get a dog, they agreed on the name, but couldn't agree on a breed. Nadie pensaba que el estilo ganaría to catch on. To catch on. Nadie pensaba que el estilo ganaría popularidad. No one thought the style would catch on. Ganó popularidad muy rápido. It caught on really quickly. Si esta idea gana popularidad, haremos una fortuna. If this idea catches on, we'll make a fortune. Los coches eléctricos están ganando popularidad. Electric cars are catching on. Su sabor nuevo nunca ganó popularidad. Their new flavor never caught on. Pensaban que ganaría popularidad. They thought it would catch on. Primero ganó popularidad en Estados Unidos y luego se extendió. It first caught on in the United States and then spread. Su nueva invención de él no ganó popularidad. His new invention didn't catch on. Pantalones de campana ganaron popularidad en los 60. Flares caught on in the 60s. Algunos productos ganan popularidad y otros no. Some products catch on and others don't. Fashionable. Harry never thought that mobile phones would catch on. But when they did catch on, he reluctantly bought one. Cindy never thought that computers would catch on in the home. But when they did catch on, it wasn't long before the Greens had two. Nevertheless, the Greens don't always buy things after they catch on. Sometimes they buy things before they catch on. For example, when Charlie saw a new game console in the shop, he knew he had to buy it before it caught on and became more expensive. And whatever clothes Holly buys catch on right away among her friends. To get on with. Me llevo bien con mi vecino. I get on with my neighbor. Él no se lleva bien con sus suegros. He doesn't get on with his in-laws. Ella quiere llevarse bien con su jefa nueva. She wants to get on with her new boss. El equipo se lleva bien con su nuevo entrenador. The team get on with the new coach. Es difícil llevarse bien con él. It's difficult to get on with him. ¿Te llevas bien con tu casero? Do you get on with your landlord? Él desearía llevarse bien con su hijo. He wishes he got on with his son. No siempre se llevan bien entre ellos. They don't always get on with each other. Antes se llevaban bien entre ellos. They used to get on with each other. Hagamos un esfuerzo por llevarnos bien con el nuevo. Let's make an effort to get along with the new guy. The Greens and the Browns live on the same street. And as they have so much in common, you would think that they would get on with each other, stupendously, but you'd be wrong. Harry gets on with Bob Brown, but Bob doesn't get on with Cindy. Cindy gets on with Jane Brown, but Jane doesn't get on with Harry. Holly used to get on with Samantha Brown, but Samantha doesn't get on with Holly's best friend Sarah, so now they don't get on. Charlie gets on quite well with Jack Brown, but Jack gets on well with Jimmy White, who has never got on well with Charlie. If only the Greens and the Browns could all get on, they'd be like one big happy family. No reveles que me to let on. No reveles que me conoces. Don't let on that you know me. ¿Por qué no revelaste que te tocó la lotería? Why didn't you let on that you won the lottery? Él reveló sin querer la fiesta sorpresa. 
He accidentally led on about the surprise party. Deberías revelar que le has visto. You should let on that you saw him. Ella no reveló que era su cumpleaños. She didn't let on that it was her birthday. Él siempre revela cuánto gana. He always lets on how much money he makes. ¿Vas a desvelar cuánto pesas? Are you going to let on how much you weigh? ¿Quién reveló la fusión? Who let on about the merger? Alguien desveló que el jefe se va. Someone let on that the boss is leaving. Por favor, no desveles mi error. Please, don't let on about my mistake. The Greens love Christmas time and spend a lot of time picking out presents for each other. The problem is, they always let on what they bought. Last year, Harry let on to Holly what he bought for Cindy. He asked Holly not to let on that she knew, but Holly let on to Charlie, and Charlie let on to Cindy. Cindy didn't let on that Charlie had let on what her present was, but she did let on what she had bought Holly. Charlie was terrible at keeping secrets, and let on to Holly what her present was. As Holly didn't know what Charlie was getting for Christmas, obviously she couldn't let on what it was. Puedes to take on. Puedes hacerte cargo de más responsabilidad? Can you take on more responsibility? Me gustaría hacerme cargo de esa función. I'd like to take on that assignment. Ella se hizo cargo de demasiado trabajo. She took on too much work. Tienes que hacerte cargo de más clientes. You need to take on more clients. No te hagas cargo de más tareas imposibles. Don't take on any more impossible tasks. El abogado se hizo cargo de nuestro caso. The lawyer took on our case. Él será cargo de cualquier trabajo. He'll take on any job. No puedo permitirme hacerme cargo de más gastos. I can't afford to take on any more expenses. La empresa se hizo cargo de demasiada deuda. The firm took on too much debt. Intentan hacerse cargo de proyectos ambiciosos. They try to take on ambitious projects. Overworked. When Harry's partner left the company, he never imagined he would have to take on so many new tasks. He took on a $10 million account on top of taking on payroll. After all, if he didn't take it on, then who would take it on? He also had to take on the task of doing the books as well as taking on drawing up the budget for the upcoming year. He even had to take on the job of dealing with the cleaners. Taking on the extra work was taking its toll on Harry, so he took on the task of finding a new partner in order to take on some of his workload. <laughs>